Hi, I'm Tim Stein, and in this video, I'd like to talk about slurs. What is a musical slur? Well, often if you look at a piece of music, you'll see a little line across the note heads, two notes. A musical slur is a form of musical expression where the second note is supposed to be played softer than the first note. So in this example by Mozart, this little minuet, I'll exaggerate the musical slurs and hopefully you can hear what they're doing. So now if I just play the slurs, the first note is louder, second note is softer. And what often happens is that people make an accent on the second note, for example, So what you should really try to do is develop what I describe as a kind of pump action handle. It's a bit like bouncing a ball. So if you just imagine that you're bouncing a ball, the first movement on the first note should be down. And when you float off on the second note, it should be easier to create a softer sound on the second note. So if you just take a single line of notes, it's actually a good exercise to practice yourself. So let's just take any note. Let's take a C, starting with high C, down on the first note, and you float off on the second one, and you float off on the second one. And the idea is that with all these exercises, that the fingers remain firm and the wrist flexible. So you go down on the first note with the hand and the arm, finger is firm. If the finger collapses, then you'll end up not being able to control the sound. So you play the first note with a slight accent, down on the first note, and then literally as the wrist comes up, you float off. You just imagine that you're floating off on the second note. You'll automatically make a softer sound. If you exaggerate it so that you end up having an accent on the second note, it should help when you practice them correctly making the accent on the first note and the second note soft. So for example, if I reverse it and I play the first note soft and the second note loud, you should be able to see what I mean. You can do exactly the same thing in the left hand. So again, taking any note, firm finger, rounded hand position, the movement is always down. So you play the note and then you float off on the second one. And you can do the same in octaves. So if we take two Cs, for example, down on the first note with the hand and the wrist, and you float off on the second note, down on the first note, and you float off on the second one. And then you can turn those two note slurs into short phrases, and you can do exactly the same thing. It's the same movement, same down, up movement. So let's just take a little phrase like this, for example. Down, up. Down, up, down, up, and so on. Now that's fine when you've got single notes, but what do you do when you've got double notes? Well, the basic idea of just making that bouncy ball action where you go down on the first note and coming up on the second can be applied when you've got two notes. So again, here are two notes played in succession. Down on the first two notes, and you float off on the second two, down on the first two, and you float off on the second, down on the first, and you float off on the second. So those could be double notes in succession, and then you could do the same with three notes in succession. Down on the first, off on the third, and so on. And it's very important to remember to float off on the last note of each slur. 
Well, I hope that that makes some sense and that you should be able to apply it to any music that you play where you have slurs.